she writes. And when you write this information over and over and change it and this and that, those, whether you want them to or not, they get stuck in your head, the names and the dates and this and that. And it's uh, the best tool that you could ever have for, for retention and comprehension is to physically write everything. So um, if nothing else, the books put, made me a better podcaster because I can now remember things off the top of my head, not because I'm like going through a bunch of notes or have a photographic memory or anything like that. I just have been around it a lot. Right. over and over and over again. And that that's helpful. That also helps for like connecting the dots. You know, when David Icke writes a book like Dot Connector, you know, the more dots you ha- you know of, the more dots you can recall at like a split second moment's notice, the better chance you're going to have to see who who fits in, in that, you know, in, in that little puzzle. And so I, I highly recommend people uh, to to write as much as they can, however they can, whether they publish it or not, maybe, but, but the, the act of actually writing it does I, something, yeah. does something to your brain. I would agree. And I think that's actually fantastic advice, especially for people who are coming at these subjects brand new, because it can be very overwhelming when you start uncovering uh, you know, uh, just stacks and stacks of information. And you're like, ah, I don't know. I don't know what to do with this. I mean, that's a perfect opportunity for each individual to sit down and be like, all right, let me start putting stuff in an order that makes sense. Because over the process of doing that, you're going to make new synaptic connections in your brain. And that's what actually allows the information to stick over time. I would imagine that there are facts and details that you can recall literally at a second's notice that just absolutely like floors the other people around you. 